Hi guys, it's Hanny from Eclipse All Sports and we're going to take a quick look at a couple of MRF cricket bats. So these are grade 2 cricket bats. Uh, one's a Shikha Darwin Classic and the other one is the MRF Virat Kohli Run Machine Cricket Bat. So we'll take a look at the run machine to start with. So if you have a look there, you've got the VK18, you've got the Virat Kohli Signature and this is the genius run machine cricket bat. Grade 2 English Willow. You're not getting perfectly straight even grains, couple of little blemishes there and you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten grains on this one. Not perfectly even and not perfectly straight but all sapwood, no heartwood. You've got a 39mm edge and a 65mm spine. This one's coming in at 29.9 ounce. Nice thick toe, factory fit toe guard, very little wood taken out. It's got a nice smooth finish but it's not been waxed and polished. Uh, but we can always wax and polish that up for you, that's not a problem. Uh, you've got spine up into the handle, medium to thin handle. You've got a MRF embossed grip, rib style grip. I would say these are a medium to thin grip. And I think with the thin handle I think a second grip would be recommended. And you've also got the black rubber inserts in the handle. As for the bow, you've got gentle bow down towards toe, flat face, slightly rounded edges and a fairly flat toe there. So balance and pick up. For me this picks up really well, feels nice and light in the hands. It is a surprise considering the handle is quite thin and the grip's not the thickest. I would have expected it to pick up probably a little bit heavy. Um, but it picks up really well and for me it feels probably 2.9 so probably around about an ounce lighter than the dead weight and we'll just see how it taps up so it feels a little bit soft so not really as responsive as some bats straight out of the packet rebound is good but you are getting quite a lot of seam indentations in the willow so you can see how soft this bat is hopefully it's coming through on the camera there there's a lot of deep seam indentations which means it's going to take quite a bit of knocking in so it's probably going to take a few net sessions to get the best performance out of this cricket bat so yeah that is the run machine and we'll move on now to the Shikha Darwin classic cricket bat so we'll take a look there, not as many grains on this one but they are nice clean grains, not perfectly even, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven grains, no real blemishes to talk about, shape, same shape you get in on the other bat, nice duck bill profile shape, mid middle position, 39mm edge, 64mm spine, spine up into the handle, thicker handle on this one and a thicker grip. Uh, slightly flatter at the bottom round towards top you've got the GM style diamond dimple grips with the MRF in bossing much better grip in my opinion feels nice in the hands black rubber inserts you've got the MRF hologram sticker and these are all textured and embossed on the front and you've got the Shikha Darwin signature there as well so yeah really nice bat it's got a nice polished feel to it a nice wax finish and yeah, it looks very good. There's no toe guard on this one, incidentally, and you can see the grains going through the toe there. We can put a toe guard on for you, that's not a problem. Um, so we'll go on to the balance and the pickup. So this one is lighter at 28.9 ounce. It comes through really nice in the shots. Feels nice, feels well balanced, but it doesn't feel any lighter than 28.9 for me. So the Run Machine Cricket Bat seem to feel the same weight as this one, even though it's an ounce heavier which is very strange as this one's got a thicker grip and a thicker handle so I would have thought this one would have felt a lot lighter in the hands uh, but for me it feels around about the same but it feels nicely balanced so we'll just see how it taps up so the difference in pressing is noticeable straight away this one has been pressed very well and the performance is instant straight out of the packet it's not going to take a great deal of time to play in. So if you look there, you're not getting any seam indentations on the face. And it just shows you what a difference a properly pressed cricket bat makes. 
the performance is much better so a soft press bat is not going to give you the best performance so for those people that ask for a soft press cricket bat all you're doing is making your job a lot harder to get the bat match ready it's going to take longer to knock in it's going to take longer to play in to reach its peak performance and you're not going to get the best response from a bat that's pressed too soft because all that happens is the willow absorbs the impact and you'll get big indentations in the bat and chances are it's going to break up and not last as long so you want a bat that's pressed well and you're going to get a bat that's going to perform pretty good straight away so this is the type of bat that you're looking for so this is the one I would recommend straight out of the packet this one goes really well and it's not going to take a great deal of time uh, to get match ready um, so yeah both of these bats are priced at $199.99 you get a free bat cover you also get free UK mainland delivery as well. Uh, they're listed up on the website, guys. So if you want to check out pictures, weights, measurements, you can click the link in the description and it'll take you over to the website and you can pick one of these bats up today. So thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.